Dive with us into the fascinating world of biographies, histories, and speeches as we learn from the words of the past. Dedication and Preface of the Life of Charles G. Finney This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Larry Wilson The Life of Charles G. Finney by A. M. Hills Dedication To my precious son, Charles Finney Hills, whom I named after the blessed servant of Christ, whose life and labors are described in this book, in the fond parental hope that the great soul's loyalty to Jesus and large usefulness might, in a measure, be reproduced in the child, and to all who are seeking a deeper and more conscious acquaintance with our Lord, and the endowment of power to serve Him more effectively, this book is prayerfully dedicated by the author. Preface Our sainted publisher, Martin Wells Knapp, three years ago felt impressed to give to the world a life of Charles G. Finney, less voluminous than his autobiography, less costly than Professor Wright's Life of Finney, and written by one acquainted with him from the standpoint of holiness. He fixed upon me to be the author, and I accepted the joyful task. Soon after, a still higher hand thrust upon me the arduous labors of bringing into existence Texas Holiness University, which for the time pushed aside all other labors. At the earnest solicitation of the precious brother, I took up the work three months ago, putting it into a few fragments of my spare time. Of course I have made free use of Finney's memoirs and Professor Wright's life and reminiscences, to which I am greatly indebted. I have, however, given an independent picture of the great man's life and work, one not heretofore given. There were some things which the public ought to know about Finney, which he would never say of himself. There were some things which ought to be said about Finney's work, which none would say who was not in full sympathy with his deep desire to attain and to teach sanctification. God has granted to the author at least that one qualification. There is enough in this book quoted from Finney himself to teach any one desirous of learning how to be a successful fisher of men, and how to receive the baptism with the Holy Ghost. It lessens not a little the joy of having written the book that we cannot place it in the hands of him who asked it of us. <laughs>